Now comes installation of the hoses. Following this order will make things easy. First, install one of two identical 41 inch hoses for the suction. This view from the front looking back shows the connection to the bottom hydraulic fitting on the motor pump. Then install the other end to the tank. Second, install the 41 inch return hose. One end to the return bulkhead fitting and the other to the filter plumbing. Third, install the 25 and a half inch pressure hose. One end to the pressure bulkhead fitting, the other to the top hydraulic fitting on the second ball valve assembly. Now, install one end of the 22 and a half inch hose to the filter plumbing. You will appreciate not having the filter on just yet. The other end attaches to the second ball valve assembly. Fifth, install the 18 and a half inch hose from the second ball valve assembly to the pressure side of the motor pump. Finally, install the second identical 41 inch hose from the return to reservoir fitting on the filter plumbing to the hydraulic tank. You may now install the oil filter. Put some hydraulic oil around the O-ring seal. Tightly screw the filter into the filter plumbing assembly, ensuring there is no leaks. Connect the engine's positive and negative leads to the corresponding positive and negative terminals on the battery. Lastly, connect the return and pressure hoses to the gooseneck tees. The 76 inch hose connects from the pressure bulkhead fitting to the pressure tee on the gooseneck pressure line. The 88 inch hose connects from the return bulkhead fitting to the return T on the gooseneck return line. If you experience any difficulty in the installation process, please call our service department at 800-995-2116.